Welcome everybody to Cooligans Take the City. That's right. We got a new name. What's good, everybody? That's right. I'm like, I look at the city and I'm like, Damelo, I Yo, want it. <laughs> there's something about this that feels like it needs taking. And that's why we here. <laughs> what is good? We're excited to be back. If uh, if anybody is new here, my name is Christian Polanco. I am Alexis Guerrero. We are the Cooligans. You know us uh, from, you know, it's from last year. You know, uh-huh. we were helping you throughout this pandemic. You know uh, us from the I- stands because we back, you- baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, absolutely thrilled to be back with NYC. CFC for 2021. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the season uh, has already started. We're looking good already. You know, Bruh. everybody was a, a little bit concerned about some of the changes, some players leaving, new players. Uh, but apparently we, you know, we decided to become the Brazilian national team. Yeah. And I'll take it. We All are right? uh, the uh, imagine if United Nations only consisted of <laughs> South American nations. <laughs> That's what this team has become, and I gotta, I gotta tell you, I like it. Okay, <laughs> okay, you know, Little, uh, you know, city Joga Bonito. Okay, okay. maybe it's a, it could be Joga Bodega. Okay, right? I love <laughs> we, we can combine <laughs> these cultures. Okay, <laughs> so uh, we're gonna be doing a lot more uh, this year. Obviously, last year we were, uh, you know, we were stuck at home in these, watching in games. these boxes. <laughs> exactly. You Get know, they're so, con- <laughs> <laughs> so confining. Uh, but we're going to be doing a lot more. Obviously, we've uh, we've already been back to, to matches. Uh, we're going to be, you know, hanging out with players. We're going to be going to the, the, the training ground. And so everybody uh, knows we're vaccinated. OK, y- okay we took the yeah. shots. All right. And now we come in and we want to go in every building now. Right? We're touching everything. Uh, all right? and Christian and I are holding hands on the way in and on the way out. All right? But we want to go. We, we were so happy we got back to matches. We want to go to CFA. We want to go to the City Football Group Academy. Just go. What's good in here? What's training over here? Who's eating what over there? What's in this locker? Let's find out. Why are you calling security? All those experiences. Exactly. You know, this just the, the, the stuff. Standard Coolian's experience, uh-huh. all right? Uh, okay. So you don't have clearance to be in here. You don't have clearance to be in here. I'm the kit man uh-huh. now. Everybody gets a double XL. Yeah, okay, we're going with baggy shorts all right, We bring it back right? to the 90s. I'll see you tomorrow bright and early at 1 p.m. Uh, so well, we're excited about the stuff we're going to be uh, getting to do. So definitely you want to subscribe to the NYCFC YouTube yep. channel. Uh, follow along. There's going to be a, a lot more fun stuff, uh, you know, outside of uh, of of simply uh, just maybe just talking to people over a Zoom call. Right. right? We're going to be, we're going to be doing a, a lot more this time around. There's this. And it's like I said, season has already been off to a, a pretty good start. Uh, you know, uh, you, uh, first, you know, a loss, uh, uh, you know, away at DC United, but definitely turned things around very, Pretty quickly, very yeah, quickly. Which is great. Couple couple wins, couple draws. The uh, I mean, the. At the game against Columbus is definitely one um, that sticks out where I'm like, wow, I've uh, I, 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 all of a sudden Lucas Elarayan is, you know, what on on the he's not getting anything for Christmas from me. You know what right. I'm saying? OK, he's on the naughty list. Bruh, I mean, uh, you know, we had control of the match and yet he <laughs> just has a couple wonder strikes. And here we are. Exactly. What happened? Uh, so. <laughs> Definitely, he didn't need to do all that. That's I all. Mean, I'm saying. Why don't you, know? you do that to everybody else? <laughs> Why you gotta do that to us? Uh, but, but what a bounce then, back match against LAFC! Wow, wow you know, LA, LAFC is not a, t- a team that we usually, you know, uh, look great team. We we, ne- we never necessarily dominate. Uh, I don't think we. I, I think in the two matches that we played against them, I could be wrong. I, I think we've never lost. I think we've, we've only drawn to them. Bruh, if it's I re- the cool if remember Why correctly. are you care about facts, bro? <laughs> we don't, don't matter. Because somebody in the comments is going to be like, no, we, you know, we beat them. Well, you know, what? You know what? Prove I mean. it in the comments, okay? Because I'm going with Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never I... wrong, all right? <laughs> um, so to, to get a win, at Bank of California Stadium, and in the fashion uh, that we did a late uh, stop, going down time. to ten men uh, in eighty well, sixth minute, and next thing you know, Israel Tushar Shruti completely open. <laughs> uh, so it, it definitely uh, kind of uh, redeemed that loss against. Uh, against but we Columbus. talked about and this it, last it, year, right? Especially during the uh, the MLS's back tournament 
Uh, when in those moments where you have a little bit of a loss, you all you want to see is the team bounce back. Right. You want to see what kind yeah. of confidence can the manager instill in the team and tell them, you know what, don't even focus on that. We did our thing, because if you look at the Columbus game, we played our game. We just didn't get the chances. We didn't get the opportunity to put it in the net. Right. And then obviously you needed two amazing strikes to beat us. What happens in LAFC? You're still on the road. You're nowhere near home. You're playing against a very good team. You're playing against a great manager. Boom. We find a way to win. And in fact, just before that uh, Ishmael Tajuri strategy strike, don't forget he had that curl that just hit the post. So there was, we had yeah. opportunities and we found a way to win down a man. Yeah, if it, it's uh, it, it's giving me some um, a lot more optimism than I already had at the beginning of the season. I know a lot of the you know the MLS pundits, the 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 power rankings mm. were kind of putting NYCFC off, or you know not really expecting much, or, or not expecting as much of a, a, a of a similar season as as the, the season prior. But I got to say, you know, we got to give props to Ronnie because the team is, is definitely didn't have they didn't have the start that it had last year, you know, be before uh, the, the quarantine began and things like that. And before the shutdown. And there's a little bit of more, I think, confidence with uh, with the team and with the coach and, and what the future of this uh, program can. Yeah, dude, look Ronnie like. Dyla has him Ronnie dialed in. Nine. Oh, bro can you believe this show is free <laughs> this is Yo, what could happen what? if you let us into the cfa and we're sitting across the table from ronnie we got ideas we're gonna pitch bro we we're here to inspire uh -huh. all right and this is it's, it's this right? kind of poetry that that, that bro, does the marketing that. team's fingers are starting to get hot they're like i need to do something with all this amazing content that cooley gets is putting out <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's take a quick uh, look. We we already went to two matches yep. at Yankee Stadium. Uh, I, we, we filmed some stuff. I decided we to there. ride we my scooter up there. And was it a mistake? We'll find out. <laughs> so let's take a look. Got in the stadium, baby. Two cool again, two masks. This could be stupid. I was supposed to leave at 11.30. The game starts at 1 p.m. I was supposed to leave at 11.30, so I didn't leave until 11.52. Supposedly, it's an hour to get to Yankee Stadium. That starts at 1. I'll get there supposedly at 12.52. Let me see if I could, you know. Uh, let me see if I'm going to get there on time. Yo, we made it! Look at this. Wow. A home game? 34th minute, but we here now. <laughs> this is, Did you see the first goal? I missed the first goal because I was waiting for you outside. You were waiting for me? Yeah. That's a mistake. <laughs> Who told you to do that? <laughs> All right, whatever, yo. We scored a goal. So, so far, I'm walking in first time back in the stadium, and we up 1-0. Let's go. I think the biggest success so far is the acquiring of the chicken bucket. The chicken bucket was a, was a hit. Okay. We Just got, waving to our fans, you know what I mean? Got them FC in the building. Get in here. <laughs> right? What's up, bro? What's Just up? another team, but a nice shade of blue. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love it. Cincinnati. Loose in front. Sean Johnson to save. Second save as well. Wow. The goalkeepers, it'd be an empty net right it now. It would be, it'd be pure mayhem. First of all, how did two guys badly equipped to be goalkeepers become a goalkeeper? You're not even supposed to have two. I bet you if, if both of us are in goal and let's say people line up 20 shots, I think you and I stop 12 of them. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think also I'm going to be concussed. <laughs> Cause you know we're going advanced, baby. <laughs> exactly, and it might be in Mexico. All right, let's go. Let's get tacos. Come on. <laughs> We're not allowed to film, but we scored. Uh, uh, how is it that we scored a goal yet didn't score a goal? 
Mm -hmm. The Phantom Go. Yo, even my phone, the notification said NYCFC scores. It actually said, yo, you good, fam. And I'm like, yo, I don't think we are, dog. <laughs> so I think it's time for one of the things I miss the most about Yankee Stadium. Bro. We got chicken fingers, huh? Now Medina takes the shot. What a goal! Wow! Made me drop my chicken finger. That was amazing. What are the five goals? Say to face. Say to Cincinnati. <laughs> Damn. Hey, okay, yeah. It's starting to feel like uh, the old world is back a little bit. Just a little bit. Exactly. And the Cooligans are back. I mean, we ain't going nowhere. All right? Hey. Oh, now we done. <laughs> All right, wasn't that great? <laughs> Look at that. We're back at uh, back at the stadium, uh, you know, getting Brought to... Brought back the uh, stepdad energy. Come on, right, kids? We had fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, orange slices for everyone. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, obviously, uh, fun to be back, and, uh, again, fun to be doing the show again. And we have uh, another guest, a returning guest. I, I believe this might be the first returning guest I, I don't think we've had uh, this we've spoken to the same person twice while we've uh while we've done this and show. it's not our fault uh, it's not like they're like we're never doing that again you know that's not our fault <laughs> <laughs> some people might be thinking yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone said no when we asked them to do it again uh no well we're excited uh to to bring back the digital content producer for your new york city football oh come on club. don't get his actual title wrong his actual title is our homie <laughs> and the digital content that, producer over at NYCFC. That's right. It is on his business card. Uh, so, uh, but Kristen Henniage, what's up, man? I'm good, thanks. How are, how are you guys both doing? Not bad, not bad at all, man. We're doing great. Uh, look, as far as uh, back, uh, we're, you know, the season has returned. We uh, have been seeing some some positive results. But so far, it's been an interesting look. It's been uh, the, the international break. Some players uh, are have been on international duty. Some uh, players have just been hanging out in L.A. and in Miami. Uh, just but, taking uh, thirst I, trap photos in front of the beach. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK. That's, uh, uh, you know, look, even in the, even during the international breaks, we're still getting the work. Yeah, in, you know right? what I mean? That's, <laughs> you got to look good to feel good to play good. So I'm, I'm with it. <laughs> So my question to you is, with this international uh, break, with the return of the schedule, it is three matches in, what, nine days, eight days? Uh, what, what do you expect for this return? I mean, it's nice to have the, that, that nice break, but it, it's, uh, you know, it's going to be like just foot on the, on the pedal as soon as we right. get back. Yeah, absolutely. And as you said, some of the guys went away. Goody Terrenson went away with Iceland. Alex Callens went away with Peru for World Cup qualifiers. He is now with them. For Copper America, Goody went away for a couple of friendlies. And we actually spoke to Goody for the website about what Iceland means to him. And he was wonderfully poetic about what home means to him. So I would absolutely encourage you to, to go and check out that interview if you get the chance. But in terms of what I'm expecting when we come back, yeah, it's, it's going to be a physical test. And I think this is where you're seeing a little bit of that planning come to fruition now with a bit of depth in the team. Tiago... Uh, Talis Magno to come in as well. That there's going to be some options for Ronnie Dyler to play with and, and mix around in that final third, which I think is going to be really influential. I think when when you look at uh, obviously and and just to your point, I know Collins uh, went uh, to go play with Peru. How come no one else showed up? Um, uh, sorry, they're doing they're, they're doing pretty badly. Uh, <laughs> they're trying their best. Okay? There's, a, there's a lot of games are, left. They can make yeah, it. No, it's World a big World Cup yeah. yeah. qualifying is long. Uh, but uh, talking about some of the new signings that are coming in, obviously the fans are are kind of excited. Is there anything that they should be looking out for? I know uh, Talis Magno has a, a lot of buzz attached to him. So does the kid from Montevideo, uh, City Torque. Uh, Torque. Um, is there anything in particular that we should be looking out for? Anything, especially with Talis Magno, that seemed really exciting when he was playing? He did, and, and you know, unfortunately, his debut was kind of cut short because of that red card. But I think even in that short cameo, we saw flashes of just the positivity, the confidence that he plays with. And I think that's what struck me when I've gone away and looked at Tiago and Tales and, and Santiago is that there's a confidence in the way that they play. They're, they're not afraid of anything. And I think you kind of need that to come into MLS. You need to feel like, yeah, I, I'm the best player on this pitch. And I think that housed in the team as a, as a whole across several players, that's going to be a great foundation block to, to build from as we move into this next phase of the season. 
when you've been looking through the footage of uh, of the especially the in-game footage you uh, you know there are fans at the stadium but there's less fans you can hear a little bit more than usual what how many languages are being <laughs> spoken on the pitch because i feel like there's there's we have you know maybe there might be realistically like 3 to 4 maybe even 5 it, uh, uh, during between players during one single match. You know, it's funny. That's something I picked up just flicking through the Instagram profiles of these players. Is it makes sense who pairs up with who when you look at Gedeon Zalalem and his Miltijuri Shari? Because I would assume they both speak German, so that makes it easier for them to hang out. But right. I, I think in general, you know, to to borrow a very old cliche, football is a global language. And I think actually, you know, sitting down in front of the press and talking about the intricacies of a game, it's a little bit different than when you just hang around and chew the fat with your friends. So I, I think there's actually a lot of intermixing. I know uh, Malte Amundsen and, and Tina Holm hung out the other day to watch the Euros. So I think that's uh, one of the funner things of this is that we have such a diverse squad, but there are also these little groups that like to hang out and, and catch up away from the field as well. That's impressive, especially when you like Keaton Parks is like, what did I learn when I was in, in Portugal that I could say to this Brazilian dude? Like, I'm sure there's a lot going on there. Um, and then there's always the. Oh, uh, you know what? Shouts to Keaton Parks. That's just right. Got engaged. Uh, congratulations. Um, when you look. Yeah. Him and I both getting engaged. Not right. to each other. Right. But, well, you know, we wish you best for both of you. <laughs> and that's two weddings we have to go to now. Why don't you plan it at the same venue so I can cut my time a little bit? Uh, let's look exactly. at uh, the way sort of NYCFC got into this uh, break, which was with an absolutely insane uh, comeback win against LAFC. But also how they went into that match was with a rough loss against Columbus, where I believe they were the better team uh, for the majority of that. Uh, looking at what are we what should we expect coming out of this international break when we finally do? Which one of those two teams is going to show up? Yeah, that's a great question. And I think, you know, going into this break, if we look at Columbus and, and L.A., almost as two games melded into one. We saw a really gut-wrenching loss against Columbus, and then they had to come out and show character. This is something that Sean Johnson has talked a lot about, this group being strong, having the mentality about wanting to work hard. But the truth is, you can talk as much as you like. You have to show it on the field, and I think Sean, more than anyone, knows that. And to their credit, to go down a man against L.A. with Carlos Vela feeling primed and ready and wanting to show that he's back to full fitness... I thought that was possibly the most important win that we've had this season for that reason, because it showed the character, it showed the togetherness. And I thought, you know, Tajiri Shardy got the goal, but he also changed things, I thought, in terms of just injecting that pace and giving it a bit more dynamism in the final third. I think all the players can be pleased with that result because it just showed a harmony amongst them early on in this season that, again, I think that's an early touch point that we may look back on further down the line and say, you know what, that, that really set a tone for how this year was going to pan out. Yeah, and I'm also interested in the competitiveness uh, just to make the starting 11 in the next coming months. I think it's going to be, look, there's going to be a lot of matches. There's going to be a lot of, of, of different lineups that we'll see from time to time. But I also think, the, 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 yes, the, the, uh, the introduction of Santiago, Tales, uh, Tiago, uh, um, uh, Luis Parasa returning, Chris Gloucester returning. Yep. The 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 competitiveness just to make the eighteen. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, you know w w like in a respectful way cutthroat, which is professional footballers uh, have to be and they have to believe that they are are uh, good enough and the best uh, to to make the lineup. So what what do you think as far as that competitive is? What do you think it's going to look like? What can we expect to see some very different lineups uh, moving forward? I would think so. I think you'll see Ronnie Dyla dip in and out with players coming in and rotating just because you have to manage loads and you have to manage everybody's physical fitness. So I think what we've also seen is just a change. So if we go back to like the 1970s, for example, maybe you had a squad of 14, 15, and there was a consistency in that 11. But now because of the physical demands on these players, you do really need a big, deep squad and you need to have trust in everyone. So a guy like Chris Gloucester, for example, who maybe we haven't seen a ton of him yet, he has a part to play, even if it's just putting the pressure on Malti Amundsen so his levels don't drop, or Goody Terrarensen. So it really is a squad game these days, and I think that's where the club deserve a lot of credit in terms of going out and thinking, OK, where do we need to, to build out from here? And, and being very targeted in doing that. And, you know, 
we haven't really even touched on, on Santiago that much, but he comes in with a great pedigree, a playmaker who can potentially facilitate some great chances for the returning Ebe when he gets back to full fitness. There's There really is a lot of positives, I think, just in the way that this squad is constructed and the options it gives the coaching staff in terms of how they set up. It's going to be great, and we need him because we're about to play the first-place team uh, New, New England Revolution, and I'm as surprised with what I just said as everyone else uh, who's ever watched MLS. But they are they are an incredible team this year. Uh, looking at sort of where we sit in the standings, we're at 11 points in fourth place, but uh, everyone down to seventh has 11 points. So a loss here could potentially see us drop as far as ninth or eighth, really. Uh, what is what is something that uh, maybe the fans could look forward to uh, going against a team like New England or how we stack up against New England? Well, I think the thing that stood out most to me is Carlos Hill, the Spanish playmaker who was with Aston Villa in the Premier League for a time, played in, in La Liga as well. I actually spoke to Charlie Davies for the away end this week. And I love Charlie so much because he refused to give me a weakness for New England. He said, I'm not going to give away any secrets, which is the first time we've had that happen this season. So I love him for that. But I think someone like him, seeing who can win that battle of the playmakers will be an interesting tactical thing for from my perspective. And, and again, a good opportunity for this back line to show that they've got that strength. Someone like James Sands, who I think has had a great start to the season. Love his aggression. Love is just the way he commands things at the back, brings it out, can slot into midfield, can drop into the back if we need him to. I think he's had a really good season and this will be a great opportunity for him to potentially try and shackle one of the best playmakers in the league. Nice. Yeah, there's always... Uh, the, the matches against the England Revolution are always uh, tight. Even the, the games uh, last season were, were pretty uh, contentious. One thing I want to point out, this is seems to be a groundswell for James Sands getting called up even to the to the gold cup. Yes, he they, deserves uh, it. There is now a a feeling that now he is almost Greg Berhalter might be sliding this young man uh by not giving him uh an opportunity to, p- to play for the the senior national team. And you know what? Keep it going, everybody. Tweet directly <laughs> at him. Do whatever you got to do because James Sands we will not tolerate any James Sands disrespect. On this year, Chad. No, 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 Sanser instead of slander. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I like it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're not all winners. Just a reminder: this show is free, everybody. <laughs> How dare we not charge you for this gold? <laughs> Uh, Kristen Hennius, thank you so much uh, for joining us, and we're excited to see more of the incredible content you put out for NYCFC this season. Thank you, guys. Pleasure. Speak soon. Kristen, absolutely amazing. That, I mean, yeah, always. you know, when we said we don't bring facts, that's why we bring Kristen Henny in, okay? <laughs> okay? We don't need to know nothing. We got him. Just like Thomas Alva Edison said, you don't need to know everything. You just need to have someone that does know every that knows that thing. <laughs> I, I, maybe that's right. Let's not even fact check <laughs> Alexis quoting a smarter person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, first of all, you can't prove that because uh, he's gone. So I'll win whatever IQ test. And two, he said something so, like, "Yeah, it. you get it. You guys get it." Yeah, I, I paraphrased <laughs> it. Okay. Uh, well, thank you uh, again for joining us. Another uh, uh, fun show. We're excited to be back. Cooligans, uh, take the city. We're gonna be. What do you think is going to happen in New England? In New England, uh, I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to say 2-0 victory. I, I, Actually, it's going to be in New York, by the way. But against New England, you think a 2-0 victory by New England. How dare you? You are not a fan <laughs> of NYC. <laughs> no, I think we're going to we're gonna come off of uh, of this break uh, looking sharp. There's going to be new players. That, you know, uh, I'm excited to see the, you know, the, the, the footage from the, from the training ground and all the, how, how the new players are uh, adapting. But I think NYCFC is uh, a force in the Eastern Conference. We've been looking good against the good teams. So 2-0 uh, I, I, NYCFC. I think, uh, I think we're going to clean sheet. Uh, for for Sean Johnson. Beautiful. And Sean Johnson been standing on his head the past few matches, so I can actually see that happening. I actually, I'm going to go with what Kristen said. I think uh, we're going to see Sands start to at least annoy uh, Carlos Hill. I don't know if he's necessarily going to be able to lock him in, put him in his pocket. I believe in the kid. I think he could do it, but I think Carlos Hill is pretty good. So I'm going to just say... Let me see if uh, 3-1. I think 3-1 okay. NYCFC. We got I think they're going to get one, but I think uh, NYCFC, you we're going to find that some of these pieces on the wing are going to yep. start really banging in goals. Okay, so uh, a reminder, the match uh, is this Saturday, June 19th 
at Rebel Arena, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. You can watch on the Yes Network, and you can listen uh, to the broadcast at uh, nycfc.com slash radio. Uh, excited? We're excited to be back. Cooligans takes the city. Let's do it! We outside. <laughs>